Hello everyone. Welcome to Proof of Concept channel. As part of POC today, we are going to see the load testing for machine learning based API. As I promised earlier, we are going to see how to generate the OAuth token generation because in real life, all the APIs are with the securities. So we are going to see how do we provide the token while accessing that API. Also the step to use the generated token for the post method. We have one of the example with the post method. We are going to see that soon. And uh, step three, we are going to see the load testing for the machine learning based API. And step four, there is more reference about the locus. So there is a link locus.io. We are going to see that as well. Let's start one by one now. As a prerequisite, we need the machine learning based API up and running. So we already seen in the, our earlier videos as well. So let, let's go to that uh, API. Yeah, this is one of our API that we built as part of the earlier videos. So here, if you see, we have this model, the mylinearmodel.pickles. Basically, this model will accept this input and provide us the housing prediction. So that's the objective of this API. And th this is the method we are looking for, get prediction method. And let me quickly run this API. Yeah, this API is up and running now. I'll go to Postman and then show how this uh, accept the input as well as the response details as well. So this is the prerequisite. So this is with the machine learning model as well. And we are going to perform the load testing for this API. That's objective today. So let me quickly go and show in the postman. Yeah, we are calling this localhost slash get prediction. This is our API, prerequisite API. And this will accept these are all the input. So we are we need to provide all this input to this API. And when I fire, I'll get this response, the predicted price. So this is the response that we are getting from this API. So similar way, we are going to perform the load testing for this API, get prediction API. Let's see how do we do that as part of the load testing. As a first step, we are going to see the OAuth token generation. Let me quickly go to that and show how do we need to generate the token. Yeah, so here we are here. If you see here, this is the method for generating the token, get access token method. So this method accept this username because when you generate the token, we need to provide the valid username and then the valid password. And then we have this request.post method. Here we are providing the URL. This is the OAuth URL. And then this will accept the username and password and client ID and then client secret. So these are all the input to this, uh, this method. Username, valid username, valid password, client ID, client secret. When we provide these details, this will respond to us with a token, access token. So that access token, we are taking that access token as part of this method, get herders. So this method under type application slash JSON and then the API key and access tokens. So this is where we are feeding the access token as part of this uh, API. So basically, we are going to call this get headers method as part of our files. So that's the step if you see here, um, so while you are calling this machine learning based prediction method, get prediction, so we are just providing the headers equal to get headers. The get headers is this method for the get headers. I'll provide all this source code and then uh, the details as part of the description. Um, so don't worry about the code and all. So I'll, I'll provide all those details. But uh, this is how we need to call this API. So when you come to this uh, step three, you know, like I have one sample API. Um, so we are calling our machine learning API from here. Basically this need a payload. So I'm just providing the same payload as part of the postman I given, you know, the same payload I'm giving. And then the client.post method, because this is, a, this is the post method. So I'm giving post, get prediction, and then the data, so the, the whole payload I'm giving here. Um, so here we have the two function json.load. Basically the json.loads convert the json string to a python dictionary and then uh, this json.dumps, this will convert the python object into the json string. So those two methods here and uh, we are giving the headers. As part of the headers, we need to provide these details. If it's a real API, um, then you need to provide this get headers as part of this method. 
So here you need to provide that get headers. So yeah, that's all. And then um, so you are expecting the response dot text. If it's not success, we are throwing an error. Uh, that is the that is the part here. Yeah, this is the simple test uh, that we built for our machine learning API. So this is calling our get prediction API and then returning the predicted values. Let's see how this works right now. I just started the server. So now we can go to this uh, URL. We have this uh, UI right now. So let's give some five users and then start. Okay, so this is started right now. Let's go to the chart. Yeah. See now, um, this is calling our machine learning based API. Let me quickly show that API running, up and running. See here, we are getting the calls to this API. We are getting the request and then the response. So the response will be the prediction. So now this is calling this ML based API. Yeah, so th right now this is not accepting any token because this is from the local server, uh, but in real time, uh, so that's the way you need to given the token also for the for the post method. So right now this is not accepting any token. But but the, when you when you get the token, that's the way you need to simulate it. Yeah. Let's go back to our uh, the locust file. So now you see uh, our load testing is up and running. You can see the number of users as well here and all the details. Yeah, these are all the details already we discussed as part of our earlier videos as well. But especially for this video, uh, we learned how to generate the OAuth token and then how to provide that token as part of the request. Yeah, let me quickly stop it. And you can uh, view the reports as well and then take a look on yeah, how many requests that we fired and then the response time details um, yeah all if any if any error messages that also we can see as part of here all the details we can see here yeah so this is the code for generating the token and feeding the token as part of the API API request so the headers, you need to provide the token details. And uh, at last, we have this locust.io, that's a link. So in case, if you need to refer anything, we can go here. Let me quickly show this link. Yeah. So we have a detailed way of the documentation all the details about locust also how do we create a new test suite and then uh, the tags all the details available here especially if you see the running on docker so if you have any docker uh, container you, you can uh, view this and then see how do we create the locust uh, load testing using the docker compose and um, running the locust in the distributed with the terraform the, those details also available as part of here um, yeah, a lot of useful information um, here in the link. Um, so this is the, the Locust's own site. So you can refer and get those details before you making any load testing files.
similarly for the further reading knowledge base also you have suppose you need to read more about like locust and then where and all this has been useful those those things you can uh, read it here you have the frequently asked questions also thank you so much for watching i hope this video would be very useful for you guys please share subscribe for more videos mm -hmm.